So in this lesson, I want to talk about something called slots in Quick. Now, if you're coming from a React background, you can liken slots to props.children, and they're essentially a way to pass JSX elements into another component. We've already seen one example of a slot inside the layout file, and the slot in this case is where all of the page content is output. But I want to talk about slots in a way that probably gives you a better mental model of them, and let's use them in a more practical way in your website. So to do that, we're going to be making a reusable modal components that we can pass child elements into as slots. So first of all, let's make a modal folder inside the components directory. And inside the modal folder, I'm going to make a modal.tsx file for the modal component itself. And also we'll make a modal CSS file too, so that we can style it later on. So first things first, let's just flesh out this modal component. So I'm going to export default component. I'm going to click on this to import it. And inside here, we pass a function, which is going to return a template. So dead simple template. Let's do a div and let's give this a class actually of modal. And then inside this, we'll do another div. And this is going to have a class of modal content. So basically, this class right here, we're going to style it. So this is the backdrop. So you know the bit that's faded, it kind of fades out all the content on the screen. And this in itself will just be kind of like the pop-up. So the actual modal content, the bubble that pops up. So inside here, we're going to have a couple of different things. We'll do a div for the close button and we'll give this a class of close as well. We'll style that later. And also we'll do a main tag and we'll give a class of main content to this so we can style it later. So this is where all the main modal content will eventually go. And then underneath that, we'll do a footer and that's gonna be for the modal footer. And we'll just say modal footer content for now. So that's pretty much it in its most basic form. I also want to add some styles to this. So let's first of all, go to the style sheet. Now I'm gonna copy these from my repo instead of type them out from scratch. And you can see up here, we have the modal with a width of 100%. So that's this thing right here. So it's taken up the entire screen because we have the width and height of 100% and 100 VH. So then we say position fixed, top zero, left zero, and a background color of a very, very, very faded black. So it's semi-transparent. The modal content, the background is white, padding 20 pixels, border radius eight pixels. We give it a box shadow for some depth. Margin 100 pixels, top and bottom, auto left and right, so it sits in the middle. Position relative and the max width is 90%, so it never goes full width. Uh, the main and the footer, we say background is transparent. And then down here, the footer, the padding top 20 pixels, border top one pixel dashed and this light gray color. The close button, absolute, top 10, right 10, padding four and eight, background color, which is kind of like a gray color. The color of the cross itself or the close text is going to be darker gray. The font size 0.8 M's border radius and the cursor pointer. So some simple styles. So now we need to use those in here. So I'm going to say use styles and it's going to be scoped and we want to import them. So let's do that. We'll say import modal styles and they're going to be from dot forward slash modal dot CSS question mark in line like so. And then we can use those modal styles right here. Awesome. Sure. Now we're not going to see anything on the page because we've not output this modal. Let's do that inside the about component. So head to the about component over here. And I only want to show this when we click on a button. So let's do a button down here. And this button will say something like open modal. We need a click event on that button. So on click dollar sign is equal to a function. And what this is going to do is toggle some state. So let's create that state. We'll say const and we'll call this modal visible. Set that equal to use signal because it's one signal value and it's going to be false to begin with. Now we need to import use signal as well. All right, so now down here, we can toggle that. We can say modal visible dot value is then equal to true. And then down at the bottom, we can do some conditional rendering 
So we can say modal visible dot value, double ampersand, and then if that is true, we can show some templates. And all I want to do is show the modal component. So click on this to auto import it. And we should see that modal imported right here. Okay, so let's go to the about page. And let's click on this button. And now we can see when we do that, the modal appears. Now, nothing happens when we click on close. We'll sort that another time. But we can see the modal right here. And this is the main content for the modal. And this is the modal footer content. Now, what I'd like to do is every time I use a modal, I don't want to have the same content. It doesn't need to be hard coded into the modal right here. I might want to use it in several different places on the website. So I would like to be able to pass in the main modal content and maybe the modal footer content as slots. So say for example, I could come over here to the about page. I could just do any old HTML template right here and it's passed into the modal and then we render that in these different places. So how do we do that? Well, that's when we use a slot. So I could, instead of saying main content right here, use a slot and I'm gonna import that as well. So this would be where we output the content that we pass into the modal as a slot. And this can be self-closing, so we can get rid of that and just self-close it. So now if I go over here and say h2, hello world, like so, that there will be passed into the modal as the slot and it will be output in the main content. So if I click open modal, we can see hello world, awesome. Now the only problem with this is that when we're passing in the content, and this could be anything, it can be multiple things. I could pass in a P tag, say lorem 10. I could do a button that says hello. All of that gets passed through as that slot, right? However, we've got one slot for the main content. What about this stuff right here? Well, for that, we need something called named slots. And name slots are useful when we're trying to pass in multiple bits of content for different sections in whatever component we want to output that content in. In this case, we have the main content section and the footer section. So I could give slots names. So I could say the name of this will be content. And then I could do another slot down here. And the name of that could be footer. So now we have two slots and they're named, right? Oops do that right here. They're named now. So when we pass information into the modal or templates into the modal, all we need to do is say, look, this is for named slot main content or for named slot footer. So how do we do that? Well, let me get rid of that button. I think that's over the top. We don't need that there. And I'll replace this with something like great news. And then this right here, this should be the main content. So I'm going to cut that then I'll do a div and paste it inside that div. And this div then will have an attribute. So we say Q for quick, then a colon, and then we say slot. And then we say whatever the slot is. So in our case, content. So now what this will do is look for a slot called content in the modal and place all of this inside it. So inside this bit right here. And I can demo that if I click on save and open up the modal, we can see it's all in the content slot. Now we can do the same thing for the footer. So I could say div, and then this div will say Q colon slot is equal to footer this time. And inside here, we could have a button inside the footer. And it will say, sign up now. All right, save that, not sing, sign up now. Save that, and now it's gonna be output right here. Open modal, and we can see it's output in the footer, awesome. So then my friends, that is slots in a nutshell. In the next lesson, we're gonna talk about another way to pass data through into a component, and that is using props.